Through it all, I've learned to depend upon His Word. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in Him. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon His Word. Welcome, welcome, welcome to online Bible school, but this is Saturday healing class. So welcome to Saturday healing class. And uh, it's all about healing. We could call it that. It's all about healing. So I want to give you some great scriptures today. One of them is in uh, Psalms 118 verse 17. It says, you'll live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. That's God's will for you. Doesn't matter how old you are, young or old. God's will is that you live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. So you have to line up with God's will. Quit that brainwashing of the devil that tells you you're going to die. And the scriptures is not is not on that. The scriptures is on you'll live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. Then you have to realize where is the power of life and death? It's in your tongue. Proverbs says it's in your tongue. And if you love the word of God, you'll have fruit with it. So the fruit is that you'll live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. And uh, you got to throw out the trap of the devil about dying. And then uh, John 10.10, 10, the thief comes to steal, kill, destroy. So you don't want to be lined up with killing, stealing, or destroying. <laughs> you want to be lined up with the rest of the paragraph there that says, but Jesus came to give you life and more abundant life, more richer life. So He came to give you life. So line up with life and not death. Well, those same scriptures there, and then also Mark 11, 23, 24, you have what you say. So it's when you line up with what the Bible says about you, those three scriptures that I just give you, the fourth one is that you have what you say. So you want to have what you say in the good light, not in the quitting light. Amen. And Isaiah 53, 5, by his stripes are healed. That's what you want to be saying. So you want to be saying 1 Peter 2, 24, by his stripes you were healed. So if you were healed, according to those scriptures that I gave you, then you are healed, present tense. And then Matthew 8, 17, himself took our infirmities, bore our sicknesses, and by his stripes we're healed. Amen. So dive into the Word of God today. Now those four or five scriptures there, I guess six, seven, eight, something like that. I'm a Bible teacher, so I can't just uh, talk out of my head. I talk from the spirit part, which I think is the best. Uh, so I give scriptures with everything. So those scriptures are the will of God for everybody. Amen. Those scriptures are the will of God for everybody. I want to give you a testimony today. This young lady, she had two children. She had a husband, but he was at large. And he wasn't large. He was at large. That means he wasn't. He was out of the picture. And so uh, she had two children, but she got checked into the emergency room. And she couldn't breathe right. Man, she'd just fallen over. She had a job and everything. And she was doing real good, but she's just fallen over and just couldn't make it. And so they took her in their examiner and said, Ma'am, you have a hole in your lung and it's killing you. And it's eating away at your lung. And uh, you're not going to be here much longer. So uh, could you fill out this piece of paper? And it was a will. Uh, who do you want your children to go to? My mother. And so that's who she wanted them to go to, not the dad. The dad was at large. He didn't really have anything to do with them, so he was at large. And then, uh, who do you want the power of attorney to go to? Well, she had a little bit of money. Not much, but a little bit. And so she said, well, my mother it was the only person she had in her life, really. Her sisters and brothers was out of the picture. So her mother was there. Her mother came uh, with her uh, husband and took care of the children in her home. And she was in the emergency room. And... Uh, so they was like, you know, what am I going to do? And so she got a hold of these scriptures. Uh, she told me this story, so I'm just telling it to you. She got a hold of these scriptures, the very ones that I gave you, and a whole bunch more. She just put them on cards and she'd read them, and she'd just read them all the time. And so, and so what did she do? She released healing into her body. The healing was already in her body. 
but she released it to get around in her body to work. And, uh, well, they, she was, you know, prepared to, she, they was preparing her to die. They said, people just don't live from this kind of a disease in your lungs, especially after you got a big hole in there, it's eating it away. And so, but she kept doing the scriptures. She kept doing the scriptures. She kept doing the scriptures. She started listening to, to faith-based teaching. She started listening. She said, I just had, to, I just had it on 24-7, the faith-based teaching in, in the scriptures 24-7. Well, she got to where she'd get up, walk around. They said, well, that's a big help because you got a lung problem. If you can't get up and walk around, you know what happens then. You're pretty much gone. She got up and got to walking around. And she got to eating. She got to where she could eat and stand up long enough to do a little bit of cooking. And so they released her from the hospital. She was on a pick line, a pain medication and a pick line because uh, they didn't want that hole to get any bigger. So she went home. She's walking around the house holding a pole, you know, with IVs and learned how to change all that. And she got to where she could, you know, play with the kids a little bit and wash a little bit of clothes or wash a little bit of dishes. And... Uh, her mom was still there and taking care of, helping her take care of the kids. And she got to where she's feeling pretty good. So they started doing checkups on her. She kept right on with the, with the teaching. You know, she kept right on with it. She, just because you get better, you got to keep on going on with it. That's where most people miss it. They have an initial blessing. And where they miss it at is they don't keep watering. <laughs> Hello? You have to keep watering. The Word of God is like water. you got to keep pouring it on there. It don't matter if everything looks dead. You just keep pouring it on there. It's liquid life. The Word of God is liquid life. And uh, so she she just kept pouring it on there and kept pouring the Word in her and kept going over the Scriptures, kept going over the, the you know, the listening, listening and listening and listening. That's why I encourage people to keep listening, to keep listening and listening and listening, watching. Uh, back then we had it on tapes and stuff like that, but you get it on VHS and big and CDs, but now you got, you know, right now, you got it right now, you're at, at fingertips watching it. So she just kept watching and listening and growing. And she got back to the hospital. They said, well, you're doing pretty good. Said, uh, why don't you try taking these pills and we're gonna take you off that pick line. So she started taking the pills and they took her off the pick line. And then she kept taking the pills and she was off the pick line. Then they told her, they said, well, you're doing pretty good. They said, if you ever get a cold, though, you'll probably die. Well, she just kept right on with those scriptures. So she kept right on with the scriptures. And she's alive today. Her children are grown. Uh, she got blessed with another child from another uh, marriage. And uh, so, you know, God works it out when you work with him. He don't work it out by himself. You ever heard somebody say, well, it's just all God. No, it isn't. You got to cooperate with him. You have a part to play in the word of God. It's what you have, what you say. You don't just have what God says. See, God already says you're healed. What are you saying? You have to not just to give, not just agree. That's just mental assent. You have to, you have to actually say what he says. When you do that, then you get revelation knowledge. That means you can't be talked out of it. And the blessing of God will increase. It healed her up. It'll heal you up. Remember, this is Saturday Online Bible School. So I want to leave that testimony with you. And uh, those scriptures, you can look them up and you can you can do the same thing that she's doing. Speak that healing over your leg or, or whatever it is that's giving you a fit you can, you can give the enemy a fit and he'll back up off of you. And so you're the healed. You're the set free. You're delivered. You might as well say that too because that's what salvation means, Romans 10, 9. If you have any prayer requests or anything, let us know and uh, we'll be glad to pray with you. And uh, down below, remember down below, uh, we can reach more people and get the gospel out in a greater way. When you help... When everybody said, well, what I'm helping is not very much, but everybody can bind together, it adds up. And uh, it's a blessing. So remember down below and be a blessing. And you have a great one. You have a good one. And I will see you tomorrow, which is Sunday church. Amen. You don't want to miss that. And uh, as you come with the shouting clothes on tomorrow, have a great one.